Hey, it's Steve. I'm back from spring break, and here's the latest news from CNET's Crave blog. The 2012 Masters champion Bubba Watson and his sponsor Oakley teamed up with Neoteric Hovercraft to build a Hovercraft golf cart. The BW1 has a footprint pressure of 33 times less than a human footprint, leaving relatively little impact on the golf course. The Hovercraft golf cart costs between $16,000 and $20,000 depending on the model, but Watson's Hovercraft has several special features including a docking space for the robot golf caddy and a noise-reducing rotor that brings the price to around $50,000. Physicist David Neville, known for his recent Oreo cookies and cream separating machine, which simply separates Oreo cookies and removes the cream, has invented something even more useful. A way to shred on your guitar and type on the computer at the same time. Neville used a Flying V guitar, an Arduino board, a custom relay board, and a Roland GR33 guitar synthesizer to turn the notes played on a guitar into a working keyboard recognized by his laptop. Plans for creating your own email guitar are available online. Boston Dynamics is testing the Petman humanoid robot platform, which is a hazmat suit testing machine. The robot wears a special suit and gas mask designed to stand up to chemical warfare agents. The project is funded by the Department of Defense's Chemical and Biological Defense Program. Petman has sensors under its protective suit that detect the presence of any harmful materials that leak through the garment. The robot has the ability to squat and flex and looks like the Terminator without any clothes on. Julian's Auction House in Beverly Hills, California recently sold a one-of-a-kind phaser rifle pictured here with William Shatner for $231,000. The rifle was used in the second pilot episode of Star Trek as well as some publicity stills. The winner of the auction also received an original schematic and associated letters signed by Gene Roddenberry and other Star Trek producers. Are you a fan of frothy, foamy beer? Sonic Hour uses ultrasonic oscillation to create a healthy head of foam on the top of your beer. Just pour a little water on the Sonic Hour, push the button, and... In some quick news hits, a recent survey conducted by the Huffington Post and YouGov found that 9% of human beings would have sex with a robot and 42% of human beings are confused as to whether sex with a robot would constitute infidelity. Rock band the Yeah Yeah Yeahs are asking fans who come to their concerts to stop using smartphones and cameras to watch the show. At a recent concert, the band posted this flyer outside the venue. Please do not watch the show through your smart device slash camera. Put that shit away as a courtesy to the person behind you and to Nick, Karen, and Brian. The blog Torrent Freak recently compiled a report alleging that computers located in Vatican City are downloading porn. Torrent Freak and a company called ScanEye, a website that tracks and analyzes this type of activity, found data which included the names of adult film stars as well as some bondage and domination videos. These findings do not necessarily mean church officials are downloading porn. All right, guys, that's your show. Thanks for watching. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. And we give away stuff every week, so here's what we're giving away this week. This week, Crave is giving away the Pure Sensia 200D Connect Portable Music System.